Hey, Perry here, Taylor Sound, tip of the day. I thought I'd just for fun go over what I use for drums at this point in my drumming uh, process. I don't know if I'd call it a career or not, but uh, anyway, so right now I am uh, playing a set of Gretsch USA Customs and then uh, have this uh, aluminum snare along with it. Um, it's like this blue sparkle. I actually use um, a, it's a blue sparkle, but it's it's 24 inch kick. I just put new heads on the kick drum and on the, the toms, um, 16 inch floor tom, uh, 13 inch rack tom, and uh, of course the 24 inch, a uh, little bit bigger than normal kick drum. And uh, I use Zildjian uh, K cymbals. Um, I like them better than the A's just because they're a little darker and uh, they don't pierce. I don't know. The A's are cool for some applications, but um, not everything. Um, I use a 19-inch hybrid crash. Um, I use an 18-inch dark crash over here. And I'm not exactly sure what this K is. It's a 22 inch um, ride with a pretty solid bell on it. All of these symbols um, I got on, on uh, reverb used. So I, I, I very, very rarely buy up a symbol um, new because um, these things last forever and they sound great no matter how many miles you put on them. So. And I, I use Vic Firth, these Dave Weckl drums, the reason, uh, drumsticks, and the reason why I like these is because of this barrel tip. I love the barrel tip. I don't like the pointy tip. It just feels better on the snare uh, for me on when I'm doing little rolls or double hits or anything like that. I do use um, these little pads. I don't know what they're called. They're like gel, gel pads on the toms. Um, this is a different one. It's a rectangular one. They're just, I think they're called like moon gels or something. You just take a little, a little bit of the, um, if there's any flaws in your tuning, it can dampen them. And, um, I'm not a perf, I don't spend a ton of time tuning my drums. So if there's any, you know, little flaws or little rings, it usually takes care of it, uh, for a studio. Uh, application they're kind of nice too um, what else I use I do use a pearl um, eliminator pedal, pedal I don't know if you can see that um, I'm just kind of experimenting with that right now it's pretty fast it's pretty nice and uh, groovy um, although I find the DW's and the Tamas and just about any you know high-end you know uh, pedal to be I, I'm always trying to find something that makes it easier to play, but the bottom line is to be better, you just have to practice more. I, I feel like gear doesn't only gets you so far. Um, what else uh, do I use? Well, I, I usually practice to with a, um, a PA system so I can kind of speed up if I want to, if I'm trying to get a groove. Um, that I can play at 70 beats per minute and I want to get up to playing it at 80 beats per minute, um, I find the best way is to practice to a, um, a metronome. And I just pump that through the, um, the PA system. You can put it in your ears. I just find it's more pleasurable if it's coming through a PA, especially in a nice rehearsal space like this one that you don't have to worry about bothering your neighbors. With that in mind, I also use these fitted um, air, uh, ear protectors. Um, they cut out the high end. Um, well, actually, they cut out all the frequencies equally. So a lot of the earplugs that you'll use, you know, just like construction earplugs, they, they cut out a lot of the high end and they leave the low end so everything sounds muffled. Um, with these, I think I paid a hundred bucks for these, and I'm surprised I've had these for like three or four years now and not lost them yet. Um, so I'm happy about that. But yeah, these are you know you get you go to a doctor and they make these for you, and they're really 
they're invaluable for practicing uh, at loud volumes. Um, so, yeah, that's my setup. I'm trying to think. Uh, I'm, I, I use used heads. I buy used heads, once used heads. Um, so I'm not super picky on the heads that I use. Um, as long as they're, you know, when they, I, a lot of times I'll just, I'll play heads for like three years, to be honest, which I shouldn't, <laughs> they get pretty worn out, but I just recently changed these heads. So I'm pretty happy. Oh, and then the other thing is I use Tama hardware and I use these little things, these little quick, quick, uh, adapters, that's, which are really cool. They're just, you just squeeze them and they come off. Um, our, my drummer in my band Silver Seed always hits them and they fly off, but I never hit them, so I don't have any problem with them. So, um, yeah, I'll just uh, take you out here with a little groove and uh, practice. I practice with the metronome most of the time. So, And uh, the metronome program is Pro Metronome for iPad or iPhone. Here we go. 